Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, doing another, and it's been a while, a Blu-ray unboxing, and today we got the movie Scoob. Now, I'm a decently kind of fan, mostly of nostalgia reasons, fan of the early 2000s movies, uh, the live-action ones. And I, I love uh, the movies like Zombieland, I love Scooby-Doo uh, and Zombieland, I think that's fucking phenomenal, it's one of the best, most underrated animated movies out there, especially one of those fun ones to watch around Halloween specifically, so if you have not seen it and Halloween's around the corner, check it out, you might really, really love it. Uh, but this is Scoob, I, I went ahead and I bought this one, it was between this one and The New Addams Family, and I've already seen The New Addams Family, and I really enjoyed that one for what it was, it wasn't like on the level of those 1990 classic Adam Family movies, but um... I've heard mixed things about the Scoob movie. I've heard, I've heard on one hand, it's a pretty fun time. On another hand, it's dumb. On another hand, it's just a, a disappointment. And I've heard a lot of mixed things on the Scoob movie. Uh, but however, most of the most of the reactions to this movie have been okay. It's okay. You know, opinions can differ. So that's more exciting actually to me than when you hear a movie has great reviews because it's like, oh, I don't know how I, c I don't know what to expect from this movie. And one of the reasons why I've heard it's failed is because of the talent behind it, the voice acting. Uh, I know they have like Zac Efron and all those and a, a bunch of other younger actors to play the characters, but why didn't they just get the original cast to come back from the live action movies? Like to me, Matthew Lillard would have been perfect for Shaggy. He's actually one of the uh, one sec. He's actually one of the biggest disappointments of the movie. His voice is just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit Shaggy because you really can't cast a different actor for Shaggy. If you have someone who can just do the voice, that's the guy you get because Shaggy has a specific voice and this guy, he, tr he it sounds like someone attempting to do a Shaggy imper impersonation, but it's just not there. So, but that's what I've heard. I've, I know they tried to do something different, but it would have been just a lot easier and you would have had a lot more fans of this movie, I guarantee you, but a, by itself, if you just got Matthew Lillard back, because everybody loves Matthew Lillard. He's one of the most underrated actors out there. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right on into this, guys, and you got this cover, which I actually think the cover is kind of cool. It's simple, but I'm okay with simple. So we got the cover. We got... Sorry about that. We got the spine. Hopefully it focuses. Come on, Focus. Focus, motherfucker! Uh, come on out! You can do it! I believe in you! Well, it says Scoob. <laughs> so, and then we come to the back. And here's the, here's the synopsis. Let me put on my reading glasses, actually, because I would rather take my time with this bad boy. I might start doing that with a lot of my uh, Blu-ray unboxings now. Just take my time. In Scooby-Doo's greatest adventure yet, see the never-before-told story of how Scooby and Shaggy first met and how the famous Mystery Inc. was formed. Now, with hundreds of cases solved, Scooby and the gang face their biggest, toughest mystery ever and discover that Scooby has a secret legacy and an epic destiny greater than anyone ever imagined. So, it sounds interesting. It's a different type of story for a Scooby-Doo movie, for sure. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I have to watch it, but, you know, we got the back here. We got Scoob right there. I hope, sorry, I hope it's, I really wish this thing would focus. One sec. Maybe I can help it out just a little bit. I don't, I don't think I can. Nope, I don't think I can. All right, well, that's the back of it. You got the mystery machine right there. Oh, one sec. You got the mystery machine right there. You got baby Scooby, some weirdo. Looks like a movie theater. And you got a superhero right there. So, yeah, not a very typical kind of... One second, let me see if I can get closer and it'll, it'll, it'll focus. Focus, fuck you. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah. See, there's the back of it. Okay. Well, let me see if I can get you to see Shaggy in them. There we go. Mystery loves company. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this uh, out of the cardboard uh, slipcover right there. Cardboard slipcover. Slip cover. Open up this son of a gun. Woo! Scooby Scooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo. I said Scooby Scooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? All right, take, take. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh, that's kind of neat. Hey, I, you know what? You guys can have this if you can use it. That is, if you get, if you can't, then that's fine. But you guys can uh, have this, whatever it is. I don't even know what you can do with it, to be honest. Zoom in just a little bit. All right, that's a, that's all I can do. But you got this thing. You have obviously the digital copy code right here, and then you got a very typical standard Blu-ray disc, which you know it's not exciting or nothing. But yeah, 
You never know with this movie. You really, you really don't know. But guys, that is Scoob here on Blu-ray. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. What was your opinion on this movie? Should I be excited for it or should I not be excited for it? Or it just depends on who I am, really. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching. Like the video, of course. Share the video. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video. And guys, thank you for actually commenting on our Nostalgia Critic reactions. Because we love Nostalgia Critic and Michael has never seen them. I've seen almost every single episode. And that's why Michael reacts to it because he has not seen every single episode. And it's, like, really fun to watch um, him react to those kind of things. So thanks, guys, for... A Appreciating those videos, and I'll check you out in the next video. Please do take.